Namaskaram. Welcome to my channel, VPK Nutrition, Mind Body Healing with Pushpa. Uh, summer uh, started officially yesterday, and here in Chicago, it's still very hot in the 80s and the 90s yesterday. So again, I want to continue my series. Last week, I talked about some cooling foods that will help you keep yourself cool during the season. Today, I'm going to be talking about some lifestyle tips that you can adapt, including yoga, to keep yourself cool and enjoy the summer without getting sick. So stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back, everyone. First of all, thank you to all my viewers who have been watching regularly and giving me feedback. Uh, for those who haven't already done so, please do subscribe and share with people who can be benefited. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking more about uh, summer. So last week, I talked about how summer can affect us and increase our pitta or the heat in the body. And that could lead to a lot of physical as well as mental, emotional issues. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch that. I will share the link in the description. And I also shared a lot of the foods and beverages that you can uh, eat and drink during this time to keep yourself cool and balanced. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about some lifestyle tips and again I'm going to use my emoji to do that. So let's get started. Number one, stay in a cool place, keeping yourself cool and stay away from the heat outside uh, between 10 to 2 p.m. Number two, make sure you apply sunscreen if you go out. Again, Ayurveda recommends uh, using sandalwood paste and other aromatic cooling paste to the body to keep the body cool. Number three, for Abhyanga, you can use coconut oil or sunflower oil to massage the whole body before you take a shower every morning. Number four, wear uh, light, breathable, loose clothes, uh, preferably in cotton. And try to choose colors like white, gray, blues, and greens, which will help against the hot sun. Black absorbs a lot of heat, so definitely try to avoid that. Number five, activity. Swimming and light walking are very good, especially if you take it early in the morning or late at night when the sun is gone. Uh, take a nice moonlight uh, stroll at night after dinner to enjoy the cool breeze. Avoid excessive exercise or hard work. Number six, if you're really tired, you can take a short nap in the afternoon, a power nap for about 20 minutes, just reclining on a sofa. Again, this is the only season when Ayurveda actually says it's okay to take a nap in the afternoon. Number seven, yoga asanas. If you're used to doing yoga on a regular basis, try to include some surrendering poses and some relaxing poses and also uh, include moon salutation to your routine. Number eight, do some pranayama or yogic breathing because this will help you cool the body quite a bit. Uh, three different pranayamas, one is ujjayi, shitali and shitkari are all very effective. I have already demonstrated these before and when I talked about hypertension so I will share the link in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I have shared a lot of diet tips last week and lifestyle tips this week. So watch these, try to incorporate a lot of these things into your routine and have a cool, balanced, enjoyable summer ahead. Uh, again, I'll see you again next week with a new episode. Uh, in the meantime, listen to your body, observe your mind and help yourself and have a wonderful week ahead.